Ellington Singer Spring Musical. This is the second performance, and both of them, I'm so glad to see all your lovely faces because they've been really, really well attended, and that makes us really happy. You're in for a real treat today because I was here the other night and I heard them, and you are really in for a treat, I gotta tell you. And this is dedicated to Mary Reagan, and she was part of the Ellington Singers from 2001 to 2023, where she was the director and the pianist from 2017 to 2023. Okay, so um, our, our concert tonight, well tonight, this afternoon is in four parts. Act one. We are doing music um, from the 30s through the 60s. Because we realize those are the birth date decades of most of the people in the senior center. <laughs> and so we want to celebrate us. And so we will be doing that. That's act one. Act two is um, we're going to do a dive into Rogers and Hammerstein's um, The Sound of Music. And then part three is our last song. But we actually know one more song we didn't know what to do with, so that's our encore should you ask for it. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Rhythm. 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 Rhythm.
from the play Cabin in the Sky. It's been covered by uh, Peggy Lee, Ella Fitzgerald, many others, and now us. <laughs> Thank you. 
so who was the musician? Very good, very good. Belafonte. Belafonte, yes. Now our next uh, performer, technically this song is out of order. This song actually comes from the 60s. But by this time in the 50s, this particular performer had already made a major mark in American music. sent off into the far reaches of the solar system to photograph Jupiter, Saturn, and the outer planets. And those spacecraft were called Voyager. One and two. Two of them, Voyager went off. And um, so NASA, knowing that you know once it passes Pluto, it's at the end of the um, solar system, they were just going to let it give it a little kick and send them off to meet the galaxy. And so, because they thought it'd be nice to let the galaxy know about us, included on each one of these spacecraft is a record, with, along with the um, information on how to play it. A copper <laughs> record, um, yeah, coated in gold. And it has pictures, and it has diagrams, and then when you play the recording, there's sounds, there is um, addresses from some major um, world leaders at the time, and there's music, only 90 minutes of music. They chose Bach, and Beethoven, and Stravinsky, and some folk songs, and things like this. And this song is on there, which by definition makes this one of the most important songs written on Earth, ever. <laughs>
Jeffery, soon to be of galactic fame. <laughs> okay. Now the story goes that our next performer wasn't allowed to sing in his school glee club because they said his voice wouldn't blend. Now I haven't been able to confirm that story, but just to be sure, we invited him to sing with us. opportunity to um, be sure before we leave the 50s that we acknowledge the big impact that film has had on our music in the 20th century. So we're going to do another music from a movie um, and this time it's the ladies. This is our first time where you're going to be singing off your page.
the performer was for that? Dorsey. Very good. <laughs> Monday night, we had a little trouble with that. <laughs> okay. Younger group. From the movie, The Man Who Knew Too Much. Very good. All right. So now we're going to hit in the 60s, and this is the time that guys get to join in. All right. You have been given the lyrics to the first verse.
the lyrics are written by Brian Wilson, Beach Boy, to a music written by Chuck Berry, he of galactic fame. Okay, so before we leave the 60s, this is our last part, for, no, for part one, and um, we, can't, we can't miss this group. In uh, interviews, Paul McCartney has um, talked about this particular song, and he said that uh, at a time when the Beatles as a group were going through a lot of problems and trying to work things out, that he had a dream, and his mother came to him in his dream. His mother died when he was 14. And she came to him and she said, it's going to be okay, just let it be. And his mother's name was Mary. Now, the interviewer asked, um, does it concern you that so many people, when they hear this song, think of the Virgin Mary? And he says, no, you should think of whoever would come and comfort you.
the mood out of the, uh, our pop music and into Broadway. We have this. to be a nun, a captain of integrity, we have children, we have mountains, we have a folk herd, and we have a little tiny white wildfire. So 
so much others, but she was kind of in trouble at the Abbey. And the day that she was called down to meet with the Mother Superior, who was going to send her off to, for the summer to be a governess, she said all the way down from the top floor where her room was, all the way down to the bottom, she was thinking, what does she know? <laughs>
this next piece is a wonderful teaching song. You all know Do Re Mi.
Okay, so we have lyrics for this next song. We will sing Edelweiss three times. First two times, it's us. <laughs> the third time, we would like you to join in. <laughs>
So um, for our last uh, number, which you have on the back of your program, we will sing through it completely once. This is us singing to our dear Mary Regan. And then we will sing through the whole thing again, and we'd like you to join us.